In this module, we're going to talk some more about buffer solutions, buffer solutions part two. In particular, a really useful equation called the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation and designer buffers and buffer capacity. All right, so to get to the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, let's just take our Ka expression. It's equal to the, this right here, hydrogen ion times conjugate base over the, the concentration of the um, weak acid. If we solve this for the concentration of hydrogen ion, just like this, take negative log base 10 of both sides of this equation, using the properties of logs, we get this right here. Negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration is equal to negative log of Ka minus log of the hydrogen, uh, weak acid concentration over its concentration of the conjugate base. But negative log base 10 of the hydrogen ion concentration is you know it, pH. Likewise, negative log base 10 of Ka is just pKa. And we get something that looks like this, or using another property of logs, we get this. This is the form of the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation that you should memorize, because it's really quite useful for, for buffer solutions. Now, so what the way we use this is we make up a solution you know, we make that has a concentration of some conjugate, the conjugate base and the concentration of the, the weak acid. What we're assuming here and is that the concentrations don't change appreciably from what we make up. In other words, we're neglecting X in the ice tables. And that's usually a, a good approximation, especially if we don't make these solutions too dilute, make them, you know, fairly concentrated. So this is what we're assuming here. Anyway, really useful equation. Memorize it. pH equals pKa plus log of the base over the acid. Let's use it now. So show you how useful it is. Well, remember in that last video when we went through all that work to calculate the pH of that that solution of the 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 buffer that we made from hydrofluoric acid sodium fluoride after we added 0.15 moles of a strong acid to the one liter of solution. Now that we know about the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, all we do is take the negative log of the Ka, the pKa. The, remember, the Ka for the hydrofluoric acid was 7.1 times 10 to the minus 4th. And we had our initial concentration of base, fluoride ion is 0.85. And our initial concentration of hydrofluoric acid is 1.15. Plug in, guess what? 3.02. That's the same thing we got after all that work using ice tables. So really useful equation. It applies, Henderson-Hasselbalch equation applies to buffer solutions only. And it assumes that the initial concentration of the conjugate base and the weak acid are the same as their equilibrium concentrations. Now, designing a buffer, designer buffers. So first of all, whoops, there's an A there, capacity. Every buffer solution has a capacity. And that is, you know, it, once it runs out of either the conjugate base of the weak acid or the weak acid, then it doesn't act as a buffer anymore. Then when you add either the, the strong base or the strong acid, the pH just changes dramatically. <clears throat> and so it ends up that in order for a buffer solution to be effective, that the ratio of the base form to the acid form has to be between 10 and 0.1 no more than a factor of 10 from each other. So what that means is if you plug this guy into the, these two numbers into the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, pH has to be equal to pKa plus or minus one. So what that means is when you're making a buffer solution, okay, first of all, you have to know what pH you want it to, to buffer at. Then you look for a weak acid whose pKa is within one, as close as you can get really to that pH. And then what you do is you make up a solution that has the, um, the ratio of that acid to base that you want and it gives, gives you that pH. Now, notice, okay, let's go back to the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation and look at one other really nice thing about this. Well, when the, con when the con um, concentration of the, co the base is equal to the concentration of the acid, they're equal, and this is 1, while well, log of 1 is 0, and pH is just equal to pKa. Guess what? At halfway to the equivalence point, 
this is true. These are equal. We've added exactly half amount. Say, say you're reacting um, a weak acid with sodium hydroxide. And when you're halfway to the equivalence point, half that weak acid has been turned into its conjugate base. And so these concentrations are equal. Log of this is zero. Log of one is zero. And pH is equal to pKa. So that's how you make a buffer. And that's the Henderson-Ausselbach equation.